among the pioneers of this technology is a Spanish startup company, Vortex Bladeless Wind Power. And joining me now is Rodrigo Ruperez from Madrid. He is the company's uh, general director. Rodrigo, good to have you on the show. Um, this is fascinating stuff. I mean, we all know that investments into sort of more sustainable um, energy types, especially wind power, is, is, has, has been on the rise. But I'm wondering how, how bladeless uh, technology actually competes with the more traditional uh, predecessor when it comes to outputs. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, well, we uh, have a very disruptive technology. We are developing the, the technology and we are not competing yet because uh, what's important for us is that we have uh, very specific and differential characteristics uh, that implies uh, mainly uh, a low maintenance cost. We reduce the, this uh, key expense in the capex of a wind, of the conventional wind turbine. Uh, we have uh, some other characteristics as it could be the, the, we work silently just all the way around because there are some uh, social complaints in, in countries like uh, Germany or Norway uh, regarding the, the, the effect of the view of these turbines and the, the noise in affecting the, the population. Okay. So, uh, no, I'm, so, I'm sorry. At the end of, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Just what, what we want to do is uh, you have to take into account that we are a small startup right now. We have developed five patents. Uh, this intellectual property allow us to say that uh, our technology works in a small size, and we have a strong arguments to think that it could be, do it also in larger scale. But uh, there is a still a long way to go. Okay. Um, so from what I understand, uh, you're saying is that uh, one of your advantages is that you have uh, low maintenance cost and your slightly more aesthetic when compared to the traditional w uh, wind turbine uh, model. All right, I'm gonna play the devil's advocate if you uh, allow me to. Um, a lot of critics out there are saying that the, the, the technology right now, I know that you're still a startup and this is still developing, but it, it's not good enough to, to, to replace it and that this bladeless technology um, is it, prone to turbulence and there's a scalability problem here. Well, uh, sometimes we are surprised about the, the expectation we raise. We have very limited uh, resources and, and almost no marketing budget. But uh, it's, it's logical, I think, that in every uh, technology development, there are some uncertainty, uncertainties and questions to be answered. Uh, now, uh, we, can, we have uh, just finish a prototype, 100 units of a, of a vortex wind turbine, one meter high. And we can think, we think that uh, it works properly, it, think it works in a silent way. But of course, that to keep on going with, with the development, to scale up our technology, we need the support of uh, expertise, of industrial experience, manufacturing experience, so that we can demonstrate that our technology works. Okay. This is a uh, Rodrigo, this let, is the let, answer. let me ask you, in five years, where do you want to see yourself? Well, uh, what we pretend to do is to uh, transform our characteristics in real advantages as a product. Why? Because we are using uh, less materials. We, we do not have any blade. We are reducing the operation and maintenance cost uh, almost to nothing. We do not have to refill 300 liters of oil per, per year. And we uh, reduce also significantly the potential breakdowns because, because we do not have any gears inside. Our machine is a really simple one. So we think also uh, the, 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 the wind market uh, presents a huge potential for offshore uh, windmills there as we do not have any mechanical parts inside, we, do, we think that we would uh, avoid those problems with corrosion, salt, 
and, and oxidation. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo Ruperez, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, you're on the edge of some cutting technology. I do appreciate you coming on the show and uh, enlightening us. Thank you.